Hello, and welcome to the newest episode of Dog Color Genetics. Sorry this took a little while to come out. It's been a weird time for me and my husband. In today's lesson, we will be learning about the M locus and the H locus. As always, I highly recommend that you watch the previous episode so that you can understand my terminologies and the lessons in it, because I'm just going to assume everyone who is watching knows what I'm talking about. So, here we go. So what is the M locus? It is the locus responsible for the Merle colors. But what exactly is Merle? Merle dilutes random sections of the coat to a lighter color, which is usually gray on a black dog, making patches of the original color all over the body. The patches can be all shapes and sizes, and located anywhere on the dog. The edges of the patches give a jagged and torn appearance. It only affects eumelanin, so any black, liver, blue, or Isabella, and even the eyes and nose will be burled. Merle can be on the entire body, or the mask on a sable, brindle striped, or a saddle. Pheomelanin isn't affected at all, and it will appear as normal. The Merle gene is a dominant gene representing big M and little m, meaning no Merle. There is a downside to Merle when it comes to a dog's health. Merle can create deafness and blindness as well as sun sensitivity, which can cause skin cancer. Two heterozygous Merles should not breed together and create double Merles, which I will explain later in the episode. Merle is a natural allele that only affects these breeds. The Australian Shepherd, the Catahoula Leopard Dog, the Norwegian Dunker, the Border Collie, the Old English Sheep Dog, the Hungarian Moody, the Cardigan Welsh Corgi, the Collie, both rough and smooth, the Shetland Sheep Dog, the Dachshund, the Boceron, the Bergamasco, Pyrenean Shepherd, and the Great Dane. Recently, Merle has been showing up in breeds like the Chihuahua, the American Staffordshire Terrier, the American Cocker Spaniel, and the Pomeranian. Merle can vary greatly on dogs. A dog can have only a few black small patches, or a 50 to 50 ratio with gray and black, and then a term called minimal Merle, where the dog is almost completely black with small amounts of Merle. The gray color on the dog can vary in intensity as well, from very pale to a very dark gray. Pale Merle is called Powder Blue and Dark Merle is called Money Merle or Ticked Merle. Powder Blue can almost look white. The random dilution of the coat can affect the eyes. The eyes may look blue or partially blue and the nose may be pink or partially pink. Sometimes Merle can be hidden. The Merle gene can be hidden through recessive red. But red dogs cannot show Merle due to Merle only affecting eumelanin, and red dogs only produce pheomelanin. Sometimes a recessive red Merle will have blue eyes, which can be an indication that they have a Merle gene. However, this can't be a for sure sign, because blue is also a recessive gene. Remember when I mentioned double Merles? Well, what exactly is that? A double Merle is a Merle that is homozygous big M and it severely impacts its ability to make pigment. Double Merles are mostly white and usually has Merle patches on their head and around their body. The nose is almost all pink and the eyes are generally blue. It is actually frowned upon in the breeding community because of health problems, as well as not matching breed standards. Some double Merles are very healthy, but eye defects such as small eyes and deafness are common. Double Merles can only be bred by two Merles, but Merle can be hidden by other genes like recessive red, sable, graying, dilution, and brindle, and the breeding of two Merles can happen by accident. So when we look at the Punnett square, a Merle, which is always heterozygous big M, mated with a non-Merle, which is little m, little m, the results would show a litter that would display 50% Merle and 50% non-Merle. But when two Merles mate, their litter will display 25% double Merle, 50% Merle, and 25% non-Merle. There are some color traits that give the impression of Merle, but it is not Merle. Sometimes black and white dogs have ticking and roan, which can be mistaken. But you can tell which are Merles and which are ticked and roan by their appearance. 
Ticked and Roan have uneven gray areas and white flecks that show through, while Merle's have solid patches. Ticking and Roan are displayed in breeds that are not mentioned in this episode. While a black Merle is called a blue Merle, there is a red Merle, which is very misleading. Red Merle is a Merle with the liver gene. It should be called liver Merle, technically. So instead of black patches, it's liver patches, and the pale gray turns into a pale brown. Their eyes can also be blue or partially blue, and their noses can also be partially pink or all pink. Even Blue and Isabella can be Merle, but it'll look very faded. Merles can come in tan patterns like tan points and saddles. Dogs can even have Merle masks. Merle can even appear on Sable, Grizzle, and Brindle. Merles can even have ticking on their white markings, giving them blue and black spots. Now, the next part of this lesson is dedicated to the H locus. The H locus are modifiers only to Merle. There are three alleles, Tweed, Harlequin, and Non-Harlequin. Let's talk about what exactly Tweed is. Tweed is a modifier that turns the diluted parts of the coat, the gray part, into a variety of brown, gray, and tan. It gives the coat an appearance similar to the African wild dog. Tweed is only known to occur in Australian Shepherds and the Catahoula Leopard Dogs. It is a rare pattern and its allele is Big T Little W which is thought to be a dominant trait. Harlequin is a modifier that turns the gray patches on Merle into pure white. This modifier affects Pheomelanin as well, not just Eumelanin like Merle. Harlequin has its allele, Big H, a dominant trait, which means the little H is not Harlequin and recessive. But the Harlequin gene needs the Merle gene in order to be expressed. The Harlequin gene only shows in Great Danes, but similar patterns have shown in Collies and Shetland Sheepdogs. Many say that Harlequin should only be heterozygous because geneticists think that a homozygous big age is lethal to embryotic puppies, causing the puppy to die in the womb and be absorbed. Geneticists think this is because on all the tests they have done on Harlequin dogs, they have found that all of them have been heterozygous. If a Harlequin dog has very little spots and lots of white. It may be a double Merle. Harlequin doesn't just affect black, but it also affects diluted colors, sables, masks, and brindles. Alright, and that's the end of this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll look at the white spotting, ticking, and roan, which will unfortunately be our last episode.